like, Probably stop a bit everything you're doing right now. I don't care how important it is. I have news that'll blow it Charlie out. Charlie time! And trust me, you're going to want to get this sitting down. So if you're in the operating room watching this, it's time to put down the scalpel and pay attention. YouTube has just made a massive change to the platform, and in standard YouTube fashion has done a horrible job at communicating it to the community. So, it's up to me, Ace Reporter Charles here, Pretty to sure tackle this, is the one. this topic from the front lines, just riding through like Paul Revere, lighting the lanterns, letting you all know that another awful set of changes are coming to YouTube that have already overnight tanked some creators' source of income from their channels, demonetized like half of their videos with... Well, golly gee willikers, guys! Isn't that a terrifying freaking fracking thing to hear? No explanation, and more channels are soon to follow as this continues to roll out. And I'll let it be known right away here that yes, my channel has been hit extremely hard by this new shadow policy that they've slid into the equation here. The policy is, if you say any swear word or anything less than proper in the first eight seconds of a video, you instantly get demonetized for it, no matter what. There is no wig- Wiggle room, if you say anything that's not squeaky clean Weenie Hut Jr. and you let that rip in the first 8 to 15 seconds of that video, well, you're just getting blasted, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, to a lot of you, Nothing. hearing that's probably not surprising because the previous policy that all YouTubers were playing ball with was the first 30 seconds, you couldn't say fuck. You couldn't say anything super hard like fuck. Because if you did, you'd like... Super hard, guys. Everybody knows if you hear somebody say the word fuck, you've just ruined every every child in a single, in a square mile radius has been permanently defiled. That is, that is what you should, that's what you should take away from this, guys. It's, the F word is so super hard. Despite the fact that children literally say fuck at school all the time, that if you jump into a fucking Fortnite lobby, you will hear more, not only will you hear more fuck words, but you will hear more racial slurs than you have ever heard in your entire life, all being said by 10 to 12 year old kids. Uh, nah, you know, fuck, it's just, it's not family friendly, guys. It's not Christian friendly get demonetized but now it applies to the first eight seconds and all profanity is being treated equally except for a couple of exceptions like hell and damn i guess hell and damn so maybe even so if you say shit bullshit uh uh fuck uh if you say oh god i don't even know they don't even say what words right what are the what's the whole list hold ass. on you let's see able to squeeze a little ass in there in the beginning, I suppose, if the YouTube Illuminati is feeling generous with their policy enforcement that day. Now, while that's all pretty clear about just not using any profanity whatsoever in the first eight seconds, ah, here we it gets go. a little muddy Bitch. when it starts talking about a focal usage of This is really interesting. profanity throughout the video. It says, such as a mention in every sentence, but that's not exactly how they enforce it. For a lot of the videos that have been demonetized, at least on my side, it's not like I'm going around hitting them with like Saints Road dialogue. It's just very confusing what's actually triggering this new demonetization wave that's sweeping through like a plague. For, for example, RT Game, again, isn't exactly a creator known for like intense swearing and getting out of control and unhinged and saying profanity in every sentence like this policy here. And yet, so many of his videos just got demonetized. And he's also not someone that does a whole lot of cursing and swearing like a sailor in the first, like, minute of his videos either. So, it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It's not... Hapo says, Demon Mama, you've been dropping plenty of fuck bombs. Does this not affect streams? My streams are not monetized. Um, I know. It sucks. I've never been able to monetize my streams. All of my streams always get demonetized. They always have. I don't run ads on my streams because I want you all to have an ad-free experience. Um, all the more reason that you should support me because I don't run ads on my streams for your own good. I could run an ad every 10 minutes or 15 minutes if I wanted to, but I don't. So please support the channel by pressing like and joining my Patreon or coming on my website to demonmama.com forward slash donate or demonmama.com forward slash subscribe. That would be great. Anyway, let's continue. 
as clear as these rules seem to think that it is. Also, this rule applies retroactively to every piece of content ever made, even as far back as like 2007. So, like, half of my catalog of videos is now demonetized. This happened to a ton of creators, uh, and because it's a new policy, yet every old video ever made now has to play by those rules. So, it ended up with so much being wow, monetized. Wow, that's terrible. But it's very see, vague when it comes to the Do you see how bad YouTubers have it on that front? Also, I should go look at all my videos. Let's see how many of them have gotten demonetized. Actually, wow, a lot of mine have avoided the uh, have avoided getting slapped so far oh that one got hit looks like a few of my videos got hit but most of mine most of my recent videos have managed to dodge it so far we'll see though let's continue enforcement here let me give you just two quick examples from two new thank you mudball man i'm gonna Both read up all the donos after this as of 12 hours ago so this first one is just called good news it is legitimately just going over very wholesome topics the focal point is not on swearing, you know, it's not a potty mouth kind of video. It's just going over wholesome topics. But in the intro, I said shit pretty early. This week's been pretty doom and gloom with a lot of awful shit coming to light all across the internet. So me saying shit here is clearly what triggered the demonetization flag. Okay, a little upsetting, but they've now made these rules clear and they're retroactive, so I get it. But here's an example of one that makes no sense at all by their new rules. This is me talking about God Slap Issue 2 being out. Don't worry, I'm here now. I know for the last few months you've been cold and afraid, the uncertainty eating away at you, wondering what comes next. Well, I'm here to show you what comes next. It's Issue 2 of God Slap, baby. I probably don't need to explain what God Slap is, you already know. It's our comic book series that's become more popular than the Bible. There's no profanity at all, not even low-level profanity. I don't mention ass or butt or anything like that at all. I'm just talking about God Slap and getting excited. It's a com Why do you think that God Slap might get demonetized? Could you perhaps think of a of a reason that I've been talking about and ranting like a crazy person for the last hour about? Do you think maybe, maybe all of these rules are being built off of a Christian worldview that says that it's bad to say mean things about God, it's bad to say mean things about about the state or the government, it's bad to say mean things about Mr. President. Hmm. Comic book series we've worked on for a long time and I made this video just going over everything and letting you all know that it's available at godslapbook.com. This wasn't supposed to be an ad for it, but it's a great example here because there is no profanity used throughout this video until five minutes and 37 seconds into it after giving a plot summary for issue one. Rounding Sal, finishing them off with more finger flicks which blow their fucking head off. They share- Oh yeah, sorry. This one was for blood. Somewhere in the video. What, how far into the video was it? Sal, finishing them off with more finger flicks which blow their fucking head off. They share a brief conversation. So then what could have possibly triggered this demonetization? Is it using profanity at all that's going to result in demonetization? Because that'd be very concerning if so. The best guess I can muster is they must have been really upset about the animation because we had an animation made for issue two and it's a pretty gory animation. So it comes in at around a minute into the video. Oh and no, not violent video games. Oh no, not God slap. Oh no, not violence in cartoons. Mm. Jesus is gonna be so mad at you. He's gonna be so flippin' mad at you muffin heads. There is some animated gore and violence, but that's a minute into it. And again, that's not the focus of it. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't think anyone would be like disturbed or shocked by the content. It's not anything that's, you know, egregious or over the top. It's just violence in a comic book and animated format. So would that really now result in demonetization for any channel that has anything that's even close to this level of violence? Because that's really strict. Like what you see there is something you'd find in like any M-rated or even T-rated game sometimes. Like, it's not that extreme. Like, I don't see why that would warrant being demonetized, but it is a bit scary because this has all happened overnight with no explanation. And it's not just, you know, bad words and things like that. This applies to so much other shit that they're now enforcing heavily. But it's not just for getting a little wacky with your language in video. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to say something else. I wanted to tell a small anecdote. When I was a, was a kid, when I was, when I was a little baby, a little imp, um, and my family started going to the Christian cult that I grew up in, which I have an entire video on. Uh, if you are interested in that, uh, it's the, it's just search Demon Mama Spiritual Deconstruction. I have a whole video talking about the cult that I grew up in. Um, but when my family first started going there, it became a problem in our house to say the word crap. In fact, we were no longer allowed to say the word crap. We had to say cradge or uh, crash or crab or anything like that. We were not allowed to say the word crap because that was considered profanity by the church that I went to. So just so you have an idea of where these types of policies come from and what they ultimately want. They ultimately want to restrict your ability to express displeasure. They ultimately want to restrict your ability to express disdain. They want to restrict your ability to express at all. Christianity, especially fundamentalist evangelical Christianity, the most, the largest uh, faction of Christianity in America, which is currently having a massive push in America, they do not believe in self-expression. They believe in conformity to God, God's way of life. And that includes no swearing, not even substitutes for swears. You're supposed to totally water down your language so that you can't express that type of stuff anymore. ...that'll result in demonetization now. If you're getting a little wacky with... Yep, I ex uh, Chris A. Camara says, Yep, I grew I experienced this growing up as a Southern Baptist. It's incredibly common. Many people in my audience have probably experienced something like this with your parents telling you not to say swears, but then also saying you can't say things like crap or or hell or even heck. Like like I remember when we were when I was young and in the church, they would encourage us to not say hell outside of religious context. Like there was a movie called um there was like a, oh, I can't even remember. I can't even remember. It was some movie. And we were supposed to say H-E double hockey sticks. We were, oh yeah, we were also not allowed to say friggin because apparently that was really bad. Grime Dango says, my mom went off at me once for saying freaking. Yeah. Somniostatic says, I was never allowed to talk about the devil because it supposedly gave him power. Yeah, unironically, this is normal among Christians. I'm not kidding you. Anyway, let's continue. Your game choice, if you're a gaming YouTuber, you can get uh, demonetized for it, even age restricted in some cases. If you're playing a game that's kind of violent, you very are, you're very likely to get demonetized before. Yes, this is another thing I've heard about. Uh, I, I heard that people were getting, people are getting demonetized for playing Callisto. I wonder, I don't actually, I wonder if he's going to bring this up because this is the edited video. This is not what I watched earlier, but, um, a number of people have gotten their channels demonetized for playing Callisto protocol on stream because it's a violent video game with zombie violence, which like I said, the entire reason why I'm making such a big deal about this is because Policies like this do only one thing. They don't protect anybody. They don't protect anything. They don't make anybody any money. Even advertisers don't make any money from this. They think they do because they're appealing to their to to very loud Christians, but it doesn't actually make them any money. What this only the only effect stuff like this does is 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 choking culture, is choking uh self-expression, is ruining artistic expression. I remember as a kid, when I was still a Christian, I was told swearing was somehow offending God or somehow was directed at God anytime you did it. And I never understood that. Does God assume I'm talking about it when I say, f uh, about him when I say, fuck this? No, what it is, it's about deviance. That by deviating from, from God's will, by showing anger and by showing, uh, uh, and by being crude or deviant, you are offending God. Christians are, uh, I, I need you all to understand this. Christians and even people who are just influenced by Christian uh, ideology, like supposedly secular conservatives, they do not like um, they do not like the idea of deviance, and they are obsessed with deviance. They are obsessed with it. They believe that there is one correct way to be, and any deviance from that is unnatural and therefore immoral, and it needs to be suppressed. And 
they will they usually don't say it like this except when they're in their own churches and i've shown some of these uh sermons on stream we showed very recently a uh one of the most popular christian groups in america just doing a a a group pledge that was about pushing back against deviancy about purging deviancy from society they are obsessed with it and, and anyway and they are obsessed with destroying it as well which means by any means necessary and they will get violent eventually for it and if there's bad language in that game especially early on in the video you make covering that game you're likely to be demonetized for it and in fact Callisto Protocol is the most recent example. You can get age restricted for it. Oh too. yeah, there he goes. Callisto Protocol was deemed too gory. It's too much. Oh, this is very, uh, very unholy stuff we're seeing here. So anyone that made videos on Callisto Protocol got age restricted for it, including me. A couple of them I know slid under the radar, but for the most part, anything that had Callisto Protocol did get age restricted. Which is almost poetic because you might remember that Callisto Protocol is inspired by Dead Space, and Dead Space 2 had the worst marketing campaign of all time called Your Mom Hates Dead Space, and it was all about how offended- <laughs> I remember that! That's because back in 2011, there was a micro-surge in, uh, in anti-violent video game rhetoric. And by the way, this is hardly the first time this has happened in America. There have been multiple attempts and often and and often successes at passing laws that make it um that that punish violent video games. It's so stupid. Did mothers were getting at dead space? It was very silly, but now it's like become reality for YouTube. YouTube is now that dead space mom when it comes to violent video games. Yep. It's pretty pathetic, but what's the saddest part about this whole situation is YouTube's refusal to be transparent with this and make it clear that these policy changes are coming. I had to find out, as did everyone else, after being hit by it and then doing digging because any- See, and again, as I'm sure you've picked up throughout the course of this video, uh, this is the part where I differ from Charlie here. The part where I differ the most from Charlie is that I don't think the biggest problem is that YouTube doesn't communicate it well. I think it's bad that YouTube doesn't communicate it well. I think the biggest problem is that it shows that YouTube is increasingly caving to Christian standards on what is family friendly, on Christian standards for what is normal and acceptable. And Christian standards are, let me be clear about this, fucking insane, okay? Christian standards for what is normal and okay and good are fucking insane, okay? Then they're not healthy. They believe that 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 being horrible to gay people is normal and healthy. They believe that that being bigoted to trans people is normal and healthy. They believe that uh all that wives submitting to their husbands in all things. Unironically, if you're not Christian, this might sound weird to you. That is a core Christian tenet in American Christianity, that women should always submit to their husband in all things. That's what they believe is normal and healthy. And that's fucked up. Anytime there's a policy change, YouTube treats it like a government secret, like the Krabby Patty secret formula. They just refuse to share it. So I had to learn by searching around online, talking to other creators, as well as talking directly to YouTube, in order to get answers for what was going on. And even my YouTube contact wasn't aware of this until I brought it up and he did digging on his end. And that's, that is absolutely not any fault of his own. That just goes to show you how split YouTube is internally where things just aren't communicated effectively even on the inside. So how the fuck can they possibly manage to inform the community, I guess? It is so laughable. This policy is a game changer for a lot of channels. You have to completely Gayfesh says, I'm about six minutes behind. I had to step away. But regarding what we weren't allowed to say as swears as a Christian child, my dad would get very mad if I said what the because of the implication of what could follow. What the fuck or what the hell or what the shit. Alter your content strategy depending on like what you do. Like if you play like a certain game that could now be deemed a little too violent for ads. Like this is something that changes a lot for many creators. And you have to find out by going through fucking Twitter and then talking yeah. to people in whispers on Discord in order to figure out what was happening. I should that be is... clear, by the way, this is bad. I just don't think it's the worst part. 
that was all I was disagreeing. I do think this is horrible. YouTube is absolutely terrible at communicating changes to policy, and they often end up just... It's like a giant monster. Imagine YouTube as like a giant beast, and sometimes it just rolls over, and it just crushes channels underneath it and doesn't even notice. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh, God. Let's continue. So pathetic. The YouTube's repeated inability to communicate even their biggest changes to the platform just makes no sense. It just can't be that hard to put out clear documents letting people know what's around the corner and an estimated arrival date. I don't see what makes that so difficult and why they struggle so greatly with it. There was one article I found about this in early December, but of course there was no like set time frame for when this would actually launch or if it was even really going to launch for sure. Because all of those things are written so vaguely, you never really know what's going to come to the platform and what's not going to. Like, it's just so frustrating to have them constantly make these awful choices without ever consulting creators or users of the platform, obviously, but also just not telling them either. Unfortunately, it's all just another common YouTube L here. I had to unmask the Scooby-Doo villain, and per usual, it was YouTube. So if you're just now figuring this out and wondering why your channel got demonetized over the last 24 hours, I'm sorry I had to be the one to shit out this bad news onto your plate. Would have been a lot more palatable if it came from YouTube's mouth as opposed to my ass, but is what it is. I am very, very convinced they will never actually communicate policy changes ever, at least not in any effective manner. So you'll just always have to wonder when the next big policy change is coming to fuck you in the mouth. So that that's a pretty fun thing to think about when making content on YouTube. And uh, yeah, just wanted to give everyone the little update here since YouTube didn't. That's about it. See ya. Well, thank you, Charlie, for uh, for adding to my commentary. As you can see, Charlie takes a, a little bit less culture-focused approach, but this is Demon Mama's channel, and we talk about culture, and we talk about Christianity, and we talk about how conservatives get their dirty little fingers in every aspect of your lives in the hopes that they can silence you once and for all. Because that's what they want. That's what the Christians want. And if you don't want that, then you got to be willing to just take a little bit further step than most other people and support content creators and artists like myself that you enjoy via other means. For example, patreon.com forward slash demon mama or demonmama.com forward slash donate where you can donate and support me so that I don't have to be scared of uh, never being able to make money again because YouTube doesn't like that I say you need to repent. You need to confess your sins and become saved. Um, and of course it, now the lucky part for all of you who are watching right now, some of you are going to be watching, uh, are going to be watching this as a video later. And all of that, the, what I just said is all going to be bleeped out with funny things because Danny, my awesome editor is going to put funny sounds over all of those. But if you were watching live and watching on my website and donating through my website, you would have got to hear all the funny words I just said just there.